Diane Gibbon, Highway 30 Series, continues here. The encore introductions, and then I imagine we'll have a national anthem, and then we'll be ready to go on the way here. So we'll take our final break here, be back with the tip-off for tonight's ball game. Right after this time, Wood River on Power 99 as we have the second of uh, tonight's doubleheader. Craig Eckert for Doug Duda, who doesn't get out much anymore, but every so often we try and get him a Friday night free, and so here we are. Jumping in midcourt, it'll be Adam Anderson, the 6'2 sophomore against Gibbons uh, Trad Rakow, 6'2 senior, and is controlled by Gibbons. And out on the point, Colin Johansson works it around to his right. Cross-court pass goes out of bounds, saved by Blake Rivera, but then taken by Wood River. Fast break down court, shot is up and good by Emmanuel Soto. And so Wood River draws first blood, despite the fact that given control that opening tip. Rivera gets it over, over again to Johansson. Back over to Rivera. Pops from three, it's... Off the rim and goes through, and Rivera scores to Trey, and it's 3-2 given on top, falling into full court pressure now. As Clevenger comes up to defend, the ball is stolen away, and the layup attempt is no good. Clevenger is fouled with the follow. Marfalina came in trying for the layup, was no good, and as Clevenger came down for the rebound, the foul was called and they'll put the ball in play from the end line. Egger has it, tries to hand it off to Adam Anderson, they walk with it, and that'll turn it back over to Gibbon. So like the girls game, we've had an abundance of whistles here, no fouls called yet. Rivera puts the ball in play to Johansson, Johansson has it near midcourt, now works it down closer to the three-point line, kicks it across court to Rivera, back over to Johansson, shoots from three, it's off the rim and no good. And the rebound is taken by Messersmith. The six-foot freshman clears it away, gets it to Egger. Egger's down underneath the basket. Shot is up and good by Soto, and it's a 4-3 ball game. Wood River on top. Ball stolen away this time by Egger. Egger takes it himself, one on two. Tries to bounce pass it over to Messersmith. Loses control, picked up by Clevenger. Layup is off the rim, no good. Wouldn't fall, had a clean shot. Wouldn't fall for him, and it's cleared away by Anderson. Anderson out to Egger, and Egger goes into the paint, pops it out on the left side to Adam Anderson, puts it up, no good. Zach Mayhew tries for the rebound, can't get a hold of it. Nibben clears it away, and on the outlet pass down court, Johansson throws it out of bounds, and that'll turn it over to Wood River once again. Eagles leading by one with 6.14 to go. We're just underway here in the nightcap. Ball was put in play by Egger. It goes over to Messersmith. Messersmith takes it himself down across half court. He's covered by David Benji, just checks into the ball game. And a foul is called on Benji. First to the ball game. And Wood River will put the ball in play from just in front of the given bench. Bounce pass, it goes in to Soto. Soto at the midcourt stripe. Goes over to his right, stops, tries to feed Egger. Egger finds someone under the basket. Fall away jumper by Anderson is good. And the 6-2 sophomore makes it 6-3. Wood River on top. Down court pass to Marfolino. Marfolino out to Rivera, cross court to Benji. That ball is battled away. Mayhew controls. Gets it over to Egger. Egger takes it down court himself, goes to the free throw line, kicks it back, shot is up by Messersmith, it's good. And it's a three-pointer. And it's 9-3, Wood River. Coming down court, shot, or the pass goes errant for Gibbon. And Benji tried to recover, I think he walked with the ball, they call a whistle, and a turnover, Egger back at Wood River where the hometown Eagles have a 9-3 lead over Gibbon. Ball goes into play, bounce pass into Marcus Messersmith from the sideline. Messersmith takes it down court, works it around to his right, bounce pass over to Anderson near the right corner. Anderson 
holds high and then tries to go underneath the Mayhew. Mayhew bounces the baseline, flips it over, a shot is up for Soto. It falls and he's fouled. And the foul is going to be called. Uh, Trad Rankow, 6'2 senior, is first of the evening. And it's 11-3 Wood River as the shot does not fall for Soto. They clear it away. Even comes down court. Bounce pass underneath to Clevenger. Puts it off the glass. Good. And Clevenger gets given scoring again. 11-5. Wood River still with a six-point lead. Got a reach-in foul called on the transition. And that will be the first foul called on Juan Marfolino for Gibbon. And Wood River will get the ball again. Another foul. And this time the foul will be called on Wood River's Emmanuel Soto. Nope, Blake Rivera for Gibbon. And so that's four fouls on Gibbon as Wood River puts the ball in play facing full court pressure by Gibbon. Down court, Master Smith breaks the pressure, almost loses the dribble. Goes into the paint, pops from 10, off the rim, no good, gets his own follow, and it falls. Marcus Messerschmitt makes it 13-5, 4.40 to go first. Down court, Marfolino leaves it off for Clevenger, picks it up, out to Rivera. Back to Marfolino, back to Rivera, who goes near between the circles. Now to Bengi, back over to Rivera, who pops from 3, and it's 13-8. Long down court pass, it goes to Bossart. Bossart pumps, shot, air ball, no good. And Gibbon fights for the rebound. Benji recovers, gets it off to Marcelino. Marcelino loses the ball as he goes up for the layup, and Zach Egger recovers. Down court to Soto, bounce pass underneath the basket, intended for Adam Anderson as a whistle blows, and we've got some more foul action. Foul is called on Gibbons Colby Hartman, the 6'1 uh, junior, picks up his first. Five team fouls called against Gibbons thus far. The ball goes in play from the end line, far side. Josh Harder's into the ball game now for Wood River. Soto has it top of the key, tries for a trade, gets it, nothing but net. And it's 16 to 8. Wood River is pumping them. 16 to 8. They've got an eight-point lead. 3.44 to go. Just into the first period of play. Rivera between the circles. Gets it over to Johansson. Johansson to Hartman. Hartman back out to Rivera. And now to Bengi over in the far court cross-court pass. Shot is up by Johansson. It's off the glass. No good. Second shot. Good. And Johansson gets his own rebound and puts it down for two more. 16-10, given down by six. As Bossart has the ball, he puts it over to Messer Smith. Messer Smith to Eggers, pumps from 15, it's no good, and the rebound is taken down by Clevenger. Clevenger outlets to Johansson. Johansson to Benji, shot is off the rim, no good. Rebound taken by Bossart one more time. To Eggers. Eggers in the corner, it goes to Soto, he'll try three, and he doesn't get it that time, a little long, follow shot, he's up, and good! By Adam Anderson. 18-10, Wood River on top, 2.41 to go first. Rivera takes it down court, pushes it over to Johansson, back to Rivera. Rivera now finds Clevenger over on the left side. Clevenger, cross court, to Johansson, out to Rivera, back over to Benji, pops from 15, it's off the rim, and will not foul, but the follow by Johansson goes out of bounds, and we thought maybe we'd get a foul on Soto, but there was no foul called. He got all, all the ball, no piece of the player. Wood River will lose the ball, and Gibbon will put the ball in play from the end line. Down by eight, the Buffs. Got a number of substitutions coming into the ball game now. We'll try and pick them up as we go. Ball goes in play to Colby Hartman. Hartman over to 
Johansson to Benji, and the ball goes out of bounds off the foot of uh, Bossart. And so Gibbon will put the ball in play from the baseline. Benji calls out the signal. Coming into the ball game is uh, Rakow again for Gibbon. Ball goes in play, back court to Johansson, back over to Benji. Shot is no good. And the rebound is taken by Jake Wissing. Wissing, the 5'10 freshman. Down to Eggers. Eggers over in the corner. Shot is up and no good, but then the follow shot is in and good. For Wood River, and it's 20 to 10. 148 to go in the first period. Rakow's cross-court pass is intercepted by Wood River. And we down, go down court with Eggers driving the paint. Pops from 15. Shot is up and good. Zach Eggers, one of the leading scorers on this ball club, makes it 22 to 10. Could be a little bit of an upset if Wood River won this ball game by this kind of margin. Shot up by Harders is no good. Or Hartman, rather. And Wood River down with the rebound. Down the other end of the court. They're running and gunning. Sam Bossart puts it up. It's no good. Rebound taken down by Gibbon. Bounce pass intended for Shot is up and no good. And Wood River comes down with the rebound. Zach Egger with Bob behind the back dribble. Shot from the free throw line is good and Egger makes it 24-10. Given now down court with it. To Johansson. Top of the key, goes over to Johansson again. Shot is off the rim, or goes off the backboard. He'll turn it over to Wood River. Up by 14, the Eagles. Coming into this ball game with a four and eight record. Given coming in with a six and seven record. So you think a little bit of an edge would be going to Given from that standpoint. But Wood River has taken control as the ball goes in play. It's kicked out of bounds. Seth Smith into the ball game now for Wood River. And Wood River retains possession. Egger will put the ball in play. Looks for Smith. Finally goes over to Wissing. Wissing back over to Egger. Egger across half court. Drives it himself. Stops. Pops from 10. It's off the rim. No good. Cleared away by Rakow. Rakow. Down underneath. It goes to Marcelino. Marcelino has the ball batted away. Saved by Clevenger. Turn around, jump run to the basket. No good. Mayhew clears it away. And we got a collision and an injured player. It looks... Sam Bossart went down kind of hard, but he gets up and kind of is trying to walk it off here. We'll see what the coach says. Pass probably from Edgar. No, it doesn't. It goes to Smith. Smith across midcourt. Stops near the top of the circle over to Zach Edgar. Egger has it at the top of the key. Over shot up by Smith. Three-point attempt, no good. And that's the end of the first period of play. And your score at the end of one, Wood River, 24. From frame to finish on West Highway 30 in Alda. Dedicated to serving you with the best DuPont paint. Because details do matter. Earl's Paint and Body Shop in Alda. 24-10, Wood River unexpectedly with a big lead. This game certainly could go either way with the... Team's records differentiated only by two wins in favor of Gibbon. But who'd have thought it'd be a 14-point lead at the end of one? Wood River with the ball as the play begins in the second half. Zach Mayhew can't save a pass from Soto. It goes out of bounds. But Wood River will retain possession as it looks uh, like Marfolino reached in there and touched it last. So they'll put the ball in play from the sideline. It goes in to Messersmith. Messersmith drives the lane, stops, shoots, and he cans it from about seven. 26 to 10, Wood River continuing to dominate now up by 16 points. Marfolino loses the ball to Anderson, who leaves it off for Egger. Egger across half court, bounce pass to Messerschmitt. Pops from 15 and it's good. 28-10 now. Gibbon clears it away, comes down court. 2-3 defense under the basket for Wood River. Soto comes out on defense. Got a bounce pass underneath the basket to Marfolino. Kicks it out to Rivera. Goes into the layup. No good. Followed by Rakow. Doesn't get it up, but a foul is called. 
And the foul will be called on Marcus Messerschmidt. That is the first team foul on a Wood River Eagle tonight for the boys. Five have been fouled and called him in to give it. Raycal will go to the line for a couple of shots. Left-handed shooter puts the first one through cleanly. And back into the ball game now is Johansson for Gibbon. Rivera will sit down and Benji comes back in, the 5'10 sophomore. Johansson, the 6'2 junior. Switch up on their men on defense and wait for the second shot by Raycal. Shot is off the rim, no good. Cleared away by Anderson for Wood River. Full court pressure, broken by the left-handed dribbling. Messersmith goes down court, pushes it over to Soto. In the corner, he shoots. Rebound is fought for, controlled by Gibbon. Score remains 28-11, whistle blows. We've got a foul. And the foul is called on Zach Mayhew. Yeah, I did it in a foul. 28-11, Wood River by 17, with 6.54 to go in the first half. Gibbon comes down, it's Johansson and Rivera, the backcourt men, playing catch between the circles. Johansson now goes over on the left side to Rivera. Clevenger tries to drive the baseline, loses the ball, it's fought for between he and Soto. There's a jump ball call. And on the alternating possession rule, Gibbon will be allowed to keep it. Blake Rivera, 5'10", senior, puts the ball in play from in front of the Eagle bench, and he goes over to Johansson. Johansson, switch hand dribble, cross-court pass to Benji, pops from three, shot is off the rim, no good, cleared away on the rebound by Anderson. Anderson to Master Smith, over to Eggers. Eggers tries to go in the corner to Soto. Soto sprawls and loses the ball, but Eggers saves. Back over to Soto in the corner. Has a notion on his shot, doesn't take it, and then travels with it. That'll turn it over to Gibbon. Gibbon trying to crawl back into this thing, down by 17 with 6.16 to go in the first half. As Benji takes the key in play from Rakow. Rivera back over to Benji, to Johansson, back to Benji, down under to Rakow. Out over to Rivera, shot is up, off the glass, good. And Blake Rivera draws the blood here at 5'10", senior, makes it 28 to 13, as Zach Eggers comes down on point for Wood River. To Mayhew, Mayhew finds Anderson under the basket, goes up with it, first shot is no good, but the follow is, and it's 30 to 13. Five and a half to go in the first half. Rivera over to Benji, back over to Rivera, pops from three, and it is nothing but that good. 13 to, uh, 30 to 16. As Gibbon tries to get some respect back here in the first half, they're down by 14 points. They've been down by as much as 17. Under the basket, it goes to Anderson. Shot is up and good, and it's 32 16. Anderson at the baseline made a nice move. Put it up and in. And the ball goes out of bounds. Gibbon will retain possession and put the ball in play from in front of the Wood River bench with 5.11 to go in the first. Rivera has Johansson right in front of him and Racco over, but he goes cross court to Marfolino. Marfolino to Johansson between the circles. Johansson walks with the ball and that'll turn it over to Wood River. Just what Gibbon did not need. Down by 16 now. Ball goes from Eggers to Messersmith, back to Eggers. Between the circles over to Soto on the right side. Soto leaves it off again for Messersmith. Shot from three is off the rim, no good. Rivera clears, Marfolino rather clears it away and a whistle blows. And a foul is called on Soto down under for Wood River. That's his first foul, and the third team foul called against the Eagles. There are five fouls against Gibbon. A few fewer than we had in the first game between the girls, but this was blown a lot here tonight. Coming down court, Tyler Smith into the ball game for Gibbon. Goes over to Rivera. Rivera, top of the key. Gets back over to Smith. In the corner to Clevenger now. Shoots from 10, no good. 
Messer Smith with the rebound. Clears it away to Eggert. Eggert comes across half court between the circles. He's got Messer Smith now over to Soto on the right side. Mayhew at the baseline. Tied up. Whistle blows. Jump ball. Wood River gets it. Eggert puts the ball in play to Mayhew. Immediately pops it up. It falls. And it's 34-16. Big Zach Mayhew with the first two of his career tonight. Not his entire career, but of his tonight career. Rivera at the top of the circle. Over to Smith. Back over to Rivera as they work the perimeter. Clevenger has it on the left corner. Now cross court. It goes to Smith again. Takes the move one way. The Rivera in the rear court. Now to Marfolino. Marfolino feeding to Reckow underneath, or rather Hartman underneath. And he loses the ball, and it's picked up by Egger. Six-foot sophomore takes it across midcourt. Over to Messersmith. Southpaw dribbles once to Egger. Shot from three. Air ball goes out of bounds. And Gibbon is going to get the ball back. Gibbon is down 34-16. to 16. They come into this six wins, seven losses on the year. Wood River was four and eight. You think on that, Wood River would not be up by as many points as they are. Shot up and good by Rivera from three. And Blake Rivera brings his ball club 34 to 19 within 15 points. Soto on the right side, top of the key. Bounces it out to Messersmith. Takes into the lane, kicks it out to Eggers. Left corner shot, no good. Rebound Anderson, goes out of bounds. And a whistle blows. And we'll pick up the ninth foul of the half. And it'll be called on Colby Hartman. 6-1 Junior picks up his second foul. Comes to the bench. Back into the ball game is Rakow. From the baseline, Wood River will put the ball in play. 3.05 to go first half. Anderson takes the key in pass. Over to Messer Smith, shot from near the corner, off the rim, no good. Follow Anderson, good. And it's 36 to 19. Anderson cans a couple. Under three minutes to go. And we've got some subs coming back into the ball game. Steph Smith comes back in for Wood River. And David Benji comes back in for Gibbon. And he'll take the key in pass from Rivera. Benji works it one way, goes back to Rivera on the left side of the basket near the corner. Back to Benji, now to Marfolino, takes a three-pointer, ball is batted out of bounds, and we'll see who they're going to give it to. Jeff Messersmith wanted it to go his way naturally, but they're going to give it to Gibbon. And Rivera puts the ball in play to Benji. Benji outside the timeline, now drives near the point, top of the key, over to Marfolino, down underneath, rank out, fall away, jumper off the rim, won't fall. And the rebound cleared away by Sam Bossart. Bossart to Smith. Smith back over to Messer Smith. Back to Smith. Into the corner. He goes to Bossart. Bossart leaves it off for Messer Smith. Three point attempt. It's good. Messer Smith from three makes it 39-19. A 20 point lead for Wood River. Cross court pass by Gibbon to Benji. Layup. Good. Wood River cross half court. As Gibbon falls back into a 2-3. Soto in the corner. He goes over to Bossart. Loses the ball. Outlet pass down court. Layup attempt by Rivera is not going to happen. He's fouled there by Steph Smith. This is the only thing he could do because Rivera had a sure layup. At least had an open shot there. Ten fouls in the first half. With a minute 52 to go. In the first half of play, a timeout is taken by Wood River. So your score, the Eagles 39, the Buffs 21. We're back in a moment. Margin 39-21. It's given for Wood River. Well, Gibbons puts the ball in play. Wood River intercepts. And a long down court pass to Seth Smith. Smith goes up for the layup. And he's fouled. Could have sent Smith to the line. The 
make it a major on that. The foul is called on Derek Clevenger, and the first shot is no good. He'll get one more. And that one is good, and it's 40 to 21. Wood River up by 19. Now Wood River will put the ball in play from the end line. Bossart, he's it in to Smith. Smith back to Bossart, right corner. Makes the shot, stops, cross court pass to Soto, almost loses it. Now moves into the lane, bounce pass underneath, it goes to Bossart again, whistles blow, and we've got a travel. So Wood River turns it over, and Gibbon has about 96 seconds to make things a little more respectable if they can. Down by 19. Garfolino goes into the paint, tries the layup, ball batted away, outlet pass to Soto, has a layup, stopped by Rivera, ball goes out of bounds. That was a clean defense there by Rivera. No foul called, Bossart will put the ball in play from the baseline underneath the uh, Wood River offensive basket. Soto takes a rest. Into the ball game again is Jake Wissing. Egger back in, will put the ball in play from the baseline, goes to Bossart, Bossart bounces once, gets it to Mayhew at the high post, over to Eggers on the right side, back to Eggers on the wing now, after he goes in to Wissing, Wissing bounce pass, tries to get it to Mayhew, bat it away, and Gibbon takes over. The Buffs come down on offense, down by 19, with a minute seven to go in the half. Rivera tries to feed underneath to Clevenger, it goes out of bounds. Off the fingertips of Clevenger, and Wood River takes it back. 1.03 to go in the first half. Craig Eckert along on Power 99, filling in for Doug Tudu. Gets, yeah, Doug doesn't have many friends, and when one says, hey, let's go do something, we like to let him off every now and then, so we're here. Get some rest before the serious tournament action starts, which actually gets underway this weekend with conference championships. Smith has the ball, almost stolen away. Rivera fights for it. Marfolina comes down almost on top of Smith, and a whistle blows. We've got a foul called on Smith. And that'll stand Marfolina. Juan Marfolina, 5'10", senior, will... Nope, he's not going to go to the line. Gibbon will put the ball in play from the end line. Rivera will put the ball in play from the end line. And Rakow is right next to him. And Marfalina is in the rear court. Also into the ball game. Clevenger. And I got a double zero for Gibbon, and there's another player. I didn't I had one player in the girls game. I didn't have a number four, and I don't have one for a double zero. But double lot gets it. Goes out on the wing, rear court between the circles, tries to get it over Rivera, goes out of bounds. Gibbon will retain. 42 and a half to go. In the first half, ball goes in play now. It's double zero. Over to Marfolino, back to our unknown player between the circles. Stops, gets it over to Rivera. Rivera to right cow, bounce pass underneath. It's intended for Marfolino, goes out of bounds. Gibbon will retain possession again. 26 seconds to go. Gibbon would like to get some more points on the board here. Down by 19 with... Halftime coming up, but a chance to do some adjusting and figuring out what all went happened here. Fouls have evened up. Seven on Gibbon, five on Wood River. Ball goes in play. Rivera has it. Out on the wing, looking back and forth. Double zero. Back over to Rivera. I'm going to try and find out at halftime if I can who double odd is. And he goes into the line, bounces for Rakow, layup. He's good. Rakow makes it 40 to 23, three seconds to go, two seconds to go, one shot for Wood River, they gotta take it, and it goes up by Eggers, not a terrific shot, and your halftime score is Wood River 40, Wood River 40, and given 23. Not
right, Craig Eck, you're back as the teams are back on court, and we're about ready to put the ball in play. Rivera will key the ball in to Johansson for Gibbon. Down by 17 points. We are underway in the second half. Johansson near the midcourt. Goes to his right. Bounce pass to Rivera in the right corner. Back out to Johansson. Johansson turns around. Now to Rivera underneath the Rakow. Rakow at the baseline. Bounces the ball off the leg of Adam Anderson. And so Gibbon will be allowed to set it up again this time from the end line. As they've taken 15 seconds off the clock. And we are just underway. Ball goes in intended for Clevenger. Batted away by Wood River. Eggers has it on a fast break. And it goes out of bounds before he's able to set up the layup. Wood River will retain possession as Eggers couldn't control. Reaching in there was Rivera. Eggers will put the ball in play. He's got Messer Smith to his left. Goes to his right to Soto. Soto now bounces a couple of times. Bounce pass out to Anderson. Anderson back to Soto. Almost loses it. Rivera gets it. A whistle blows as we've got a push called on Rivera, I think. Nope, on Soto. And so things reverse itself, and this time Wood River picks up the first team foul of the second half. Second on Soto on the overall. Johansson, bounce pass to Barfolino, to Clevenger. Pumps from 10, it's no good. And Anderson with the rebound, leaves it off for Eggers. Mayhew comes down, sets up on the low post, bounce pass over to Messersmith, the southpaw dribbles to his left, almost loses it, gets it to Egger. Egger back over to Soto on the right side, drives into the corner, leaves it off for Anderson, but a whistle blows and we've got another foul. The foul is called against given Colin Johansson. And Wood River will put the ball in play from in front of their own bench. Goes into Mayhew. Exact back of the rear court. At midcourt, Mayhew coming way out on the perimeter now. He's been spending most of his time down underneath. Now he has to dribble. Gets it to Soto. Soto goes on the left side on the wing. Now to Egger, who almost loses the ball in the rear court. Saves. Gets it to Messersmith. Pops from 12. Good. Marcus Messersmith makes it 42-23. And Wood River has not quit yet. Given down to Brackow in the left corner. Cross-court pass. Rivera pops from three. It's off the rim. No good. Follow Rakow. Good. It's 25. Eggers comes down. Pushes it ahead for Wood River. Over between the circles to Soto. Soto to Matthew Smith. And he's tied up. And a whistle blows. Foul is called against Ray Cow. And Wood River will put it in play from the sideline. Two team fouls called against Gibbon. One against Wood River so far in the second half. Bounce pass comes into Soto. Soto has it between the circles. Works it to his left and stops and goes over to Eggers. Eggers tries to find Mayhew under the basket. Ray Cow steals it away for Gibbon. To Johansson. Johansson pops from near the basket. Shot is up. No good. And a whistle blows. We haven't seen one clean layup here tonight without a whistle or an out-of-bound. Johansson will go to the line, fouled in the act of shooting. We'll have an opportunity at a couple here. He could put his team to within 42-27. It's 42-25 right now. First foul on Egger. First shot is good. It's 42-26. 6 one to go third. Second shot, good. And Johansson is perfect here in the early going of the second half. Just under six to go, 42-27. Wood River still has the big lead. Egger tries to find Mayhew. Pass is taken away by Rakow again. And it goes over to Rivera. Goes cross half court to Johansson. Johansson left of the circle. Goes to Rivera on the right side now. Back over to Johansson. Back to Rivera. Back to Johansson. Top of the key now into the corner. It goes to Clevenger. Clevenger under the basket to Marfolino. And Marfolino trying to go up with it. He's fouled. And there we have it again. Some real tight calls under the basket. And the foul is called on Zach Egger. That'll be his second of the evening. Three team fouls on Wood River. Two on Gibbon. Gibbon puts the ball in play from the end line under their offensive basket. A 
And Johansson finds Rivera. Stops. Pumps in the lane. Shot is up off the rim. No good. Rako tries for the rebound, but it's taken by Anderson. Adam Anderson leaves it off for Seth Smith, who just rejoined the ball game. Master Smith. Smith. Ball batted away by Johansson. And he saves. But he goes back in the rear court and giving his call for going over and back. And that'll turn it over to Wood River. 5.14 to go third. 42-27. Wood River, a top given. By that 15-point margin. Smith takes the key in pass. Covered by Rivera. Goes in the fourth court. Being covered. Has to get the play away. Does get it over to Anderson. Back out to Smith again. Smith bounce pass to Soto. Soto to Bostar. Bostar to Mayhew. Tries to find someone cutting under the basket. Taken away by Gibbons. Stolen back by Wood Rivers. Smith and Seth Smith puts it up from 10 and it's good. Things are just falling the way of the Eagles tonight. 44-27. Given down on offense. In the corner. Ray Cow has it and walks with it. And that'll turn it back over to the Eagles. Bossart will keep the ball in play. As Eggers re-enters the ball game, Smith will take some time on the bench. Mayhew gets a handshake from the coach, as does Soto. As Bossart is back in, Eggers is in. Anderson is in. Smith is in, albeit for a different player. And Messersmith. Messersmith, south clock over to Egger. Bounce pass to Smith, to Bossart. Bossart back to Master Smith. In the lane, fall away jumper. In and out, no good. That almost fell and he couldn't, couldn't get it in. Down court it goes to Rivera. Ball batted away by Bosshammer. Saved by Master Smith. Outlet pass, down court layup by Smith is blocked. And he's fouled as he goes up. That's going to send Seth Smith to the line. The 5'7 senior has had, I don't believe, any attempts at the line. Yeah, he is. He's one for two from the line. We don't have that many attempts from the line for either ball club tonight. First shot is good. Three team fouls apiece now with 4.07 to go in the third. 45-27 as the first one falls. Breakout comes out of the ball game. Rivera comes out of the ball game. Clevenger is now back in. Benji is back in for Gibbon. Colby Hartman, 6'1", junior, also down under the basket as they line up in the second one. Falls for Wood River and it's 46-27. Almost a 20-point lead again. 4.02 remaining in the third. Benji, outside. Now bounce pass underneath to Johansson. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Gibbon. Benji, top of the key, goes into the paint again, puts it up one more time, still won't fall. Clevenger, follow shot, ball blocked. Jump ball call. They fight for the rebound. 46-27, your score remains with 3.43 to go third. And on alternating possessions, Wood River will take it back. Smith keys the ball in to Egger. Back to Smith, says they're met by Benji. To Messer Smith, Messer Smith to Anderson, gets it out on point now. Top of the key, Messer Smith, long shot, won't fall, rebound fought for and saved by Wood River, then stolen away by Benji. Benji one on two, and he tries a behind the back pass to Hartman. A little too hard to handle, goes out of bounds. Wood River will put the ball in play. Nice pass attempt there by Benji, but I don't think that uh, Hartman was ready for something like that. And Smith takes it down court, gets it over to Egger, to Boss Hammer. Anderson under the basket to Messer Smith. Messer Smith in the left corner. Now finds Smith. Up with it. Shot no good. Rebound taken down by Rivera. Rivera takes it with three minutes to go in the third. Benji shot from the left corner. Good. Three pointer for Benji. Nope, they say his foot was on the line. Two pointer they're going to give him. 46 29. Given still down by that huge margin to Wood River, which took an early lead and just does not let go. Messersmith pops from the free throw line. Shot is good, and it's 48-29. 2.35 to go third. Down court, it goes to Johansson. 
Johansson between the circles goes over to Rivera, back to Johansson, top of the key. He's covered by Egger, bounce pass over to Rivera, wants a three, can't get it, but pops from inside the line. Shot is no good, cleared away by Anderson. Anderson over to Egger. Egger goes into the paint, tries to get it out to Smith. A whistle blows. We might have a foul on Johansson on that deal. And the foul is not on Johansson, but on Benji, and that's his second foul. Zach Mayhew back in the ballgame now. Boss Hammer comes back in for Wood River. Master Smith is still in. Smith is still in. And he gets the key in pass. Smith between the circles, gets it over to Master Smith. Master Smith has a reach-in violation perpetrated on him by Benji again, and that'll be a quick another foul, third foul now on Benji. Wood River puts the ball in play from under their bench, 2.07 to go third. Key in pass taken by Smith. Stops, wants a shot, can't get it. Gets it over to Messi Smith. Back over to Smith. Back to Messi Smith. Holding high on the left side. Bounce pass to Boss Hammer in the right corner. Boss Hammer works it out to Egger. Egger to Smith. To Messi Smith. Shot from 15 is good. And Messi Smith makes it 50 to 29. Wood River crawling all over given tonight. At least in the boys game. Back in the ball game is our double zero, whose name is Bryson Gilming. We checked that at halftime. Bryson loses the ball. Bossart picks it up. Comes down court. Layup is good. 52-29. Sam Bossart with the layup. And we're under a minute and a half to go in the third. Given walks with the ball. Goes out of bounds, actually. Loses it out of bounds. And Wood River will take over. Another turnover on Given. So Given... Having their problems tonight on their own. Wood River's been playing some pretty inspired basketball, but Gibbon has made some mistakes that they probably would rather not have made. 1.15 to go third. Ball in play. Bossart has it on the left side. Loses the ball. Picked up by Rivera, Marfolino, and Bossart battle for it. Ball goes out of bounds. Wood River will retain on that one. Egger will put the ball in play. He's got Bossard right in front of him. Seth Smith also there. And the ball goes in play to Bossard. Back over to Smith. And the ball is touched. Goes out of bounds again. So they'll do it again. Ball goes to play to Smith. To Egger. Back to Smith at half court. Works it around. Bounce pass to Mayhew underneath. Finds Boss Hammer off the glass. Good. 54-29. Under a minute to go in the third. Gilming is fouled by Smith as he comes across midcourt. Again, if you heard us babbling in the first half about a double zero, we didn't have his number. It's Bryson Gilming. And so, Bryson, we're glad to have you on the air with us here. Sorry we didn't have it on our program to begin with. 54-29, ball goes in play from Gibbon on the sideline. 45 seconds to go in the third period. Gilming pass intended for Rivera, stolen away. Down court, under the basket, layup attempt by Smith is no good. Cleared away by Gibbon. Gilming takes it down. Dylan Olson with the rebound for Gibbon on that. He's entering the game for the first time. Gilming, over in the corner, he goes to Marfolino. To Clevenger, high post shot he is off the rim, no good. It just is not falling tonight for Gibbon at all. Rebound is cleared away by Wood River. Jake Wissing is back in the ball game, and he has that. Egger, top of the key. Over on the left side, down underneath to Mayhew. Mayhew bounces once as the whistle blows, and a foul is called on Derek Clevenger on Mayhew. Clevenger, the 6'3 senior, picks up his second foul of the evening. Time. Double nickel puts it through. Big 55 makes it 55 29. 55 makes it 55. Almost a 30 point lead for Wood River. Who'd have thought this one? 
Second shot by Mayhew is a little long, off the lip, no good. Gets his own rebound, though. Turn around, jumper good! Zach Mayhew makes it 57, 29, and that's the end of the third period. Period. I don't think it's gonna go into OT. What do you think? 57, 29, Wood River out front of Gibbon. Gibbon, Buffalo is just not getting much from the field tonight. Wood River doing everything right. Rivera has it. Cross-court pass to Johansson. Back to Rivera. Fakes a three. Can't get the shot. Back out between the circles. It goes to Johansson. Now to Marfolino on the left side. Back to Johansson. Bounce pass underneath the basket. Kicks it back out to Rivera. Right corner. Shot. No good. Rebound taken and fought for by Dylan Olson. Shot is up and good. And it's 57-31 as Gibbon picks up a pair. Soto has it now for Wood River, near the top of the key. Looks longingly at the basket, but then decides to go over to Egger to his right. Back to Messersmith, pops from the free throw line, a little shy. Rebound, Clevenger. Clevenger, outlet pass, it goes down to Johansson, to Marfolino, shot is up and good. And Juan Marfolino, 5'10", senior, makes it 57-33. Still down by 24 points. Wood Rivers, Master Smith has it on the wing on the right side. To Master Smith, rear, or to uh, Soto rather, back over to Egger. Egger left side, bounce pass to Mayhew left corner. Mayhew, cross court pass to Anderson. Anderson takes the pass, just to seven, given 33, we're back in a moment. Where the Eagles boys team is handling the given Boys Ball Club, 57-33. Wood Rivers, or uh, Gibbons Girls, won earlier, 47-42 in our first broadcast tonight. Ball in play now. Bossart has it. Low post turnaround. Tries to get it up there, but it's off the backboard. No good. And Clevenger clears it away. Clevenger down under the basket. Shot up. No good. Rebound taken by Bossart. Bossart across half court. Across half court. And he leaves it off for Egger. Egger to Soto. Soto to Mayhew in the right corner. Back out to Soto on point. Cross to Anderson. Underneath Mayhew. Turn around. Jumper. Follow shot. No good. Rebound still fought for. Dylan Olsen is there. And we'll see who fouled who. I think they're going to call a foul on, uh, on Mayhew this time. And so big number 55 picks up his second foul. And that will allow Clevenger to put the ball in play to Rivera. Gets a pat on the back and a handshake from the coach as Mayhew sits down. And back in the ball game is Bossart for Wood River. Cross court pass, it goes to Rivera. Rivera tries to bounce underneath to Marfolino or Olsen, but the whistle blows before either one can attempt. Keys the ball in from the baseline. Johansson has the ball batted away by Soto, goes out of bounds, given retains. From the far side uh, sideline, ball goes into Marfolino. To Johansson, pops from 20, air ball. Rebound is out of bounds. As Olsen tried to save it, couldn't do it. Wood River. Bossart puts the ball in play to Soto. Under five and a half to go in the ball game. Bossart on the left side. Egger. Egger on point. He goes to Anderson. Drives the lane. Shot is up. Good. And Adam Anderson makes it 59 to 33. 59 33. Wood River on top. 5.08 to go ball game. Marfolino kicks it out to Johansson. Johansson passes to Clevenger. Goes up for the shot, and he's fouled as he does so. That's 14 team fouls combined in the second half. Well, this is a shooting violation, but will be in bonus from here on out. Both sides. First shot was no good, second shot is good. And Clevenger makes it 59-34. Into the ball game now, Danny Powell for Wood River. Getting a rest to Adam Anderson. Oh, yeah. 
Colby. Hartley Mullen in play to Soto, who takes it down across half court. Bossard in the corner. Dribbles. Out to Soto. Soto goes into the paint, but loses the ball. Powell is up with it in the corner, being covered. Tries to put the ball underneath the Bossard. Ball is batted away by Gibbon, and we'll see if three junior will send Bossard to the line. Bam's first shot is no good. Cleared away by Olsen. Outlet pass to Johansson. Johansson dribbles himself down into the corner. Stops, gives off to Rivera underneath the Hartman. Shot is up off the glass. Good. And Colby Hartman makes it 59-36. Four and a half to go in the ball game. Down court to Bossart again. Sets up the left corner. Bounce pass to Soto. Top of the key. Whistle blows. Travel. That'll turn it over to Gibbon. As Benji comes back into the ball game and Rivera gets a well-deserved rest. He's played a good ball game or an intense ball game tonight. He has some nice shots from the perimeter. But on the overall, given the shooting from the field has really, really hurt them tonight. Benji on the right side. Underneath, the ball goes to Gilme, or to uh, Tyler Smith, rather. His shot no good. Followed by Olsen is no good. Rebound is finally cleared away by Wood Rivers. Messer Smith. Messer Smith to Egger. Egger gets a pick from Messer Smith. Goes between the circles. Stops over to Soto. Soto back to Messer Smith between the circles. Now he bounces over on the left side. The boss out left corner. Loses the ball off somebody's foot. Might have been off Olsen's foot. They get called for going over and back. And that'll turn it back over to Gibbon. Tyler Smith, the 5'11 sophomore, puts the ball in play. Zach Mayhew back in for Wood River. Powell takes a seat. Bossart takes a seat as Anderson is back in as well for the Eagles. 3.45 remaining in the ballgame, 59-36. Johansson has the ball go out of bounds. He tried to dribble around Egger. It bounced off his foot. And so the Buffaloes retain possession as Benji will put the ball in play to Johansson. Soto says not if I have anything to say about it, but they get it in anyhow. Back over to Benji. Three-point attempt. Shot is up. No good. Rebound is fought for. Olsen and Hartman fighting for it. Olsen gets it. Out to Tyler Smith again. Smith over to Johansson to Hartman. Hartman fights into the line on Wood River. Colby Hartman, 6'1", junior at the line. Shot is no good. He'll get another one, though. And 44 might make it 60. Let's see. He does not. 59-36, goal remains. Egger comes down court with it. Zach Egger in the rear court. Finds Soto, right corner. Soto drives himself. Shot up, no good. Rebound taken away by Olsen for Gibbon. He's tied up there. Gets it away to Benji. Nice play. Benji across midcourt. Flips it over in the corner. Shot by Tyler Smith. Off the backboard. No good. Egger all by himself. Down for the layup. Shot is up and off the rim. No good. Followed by Anderson. Does fall and it's good. 61-36. Outlet pass down to Benji. To Tyler Smith in the right corner. Smith bounces. Out of trouble. Tied up by Soto. Takes the ball away. Anderson gets it. Leaves it off for Zach Egger. Egger takes it himself as he pushes it up to midcourt, leading 61-36. Wood River in no particular hurry. They just want to get this thing over and get back to the locker room and think about the Blue Flat Conference tournament getting underway on Monday. Egger on the left side, bounce pass cross court to Soto. Soto to Boss to uh, Messersmith rather. Underneath to Egger, hook shot, no good. Rebound cleared away by Olsen to Johansson. Bounce to Benji. Hartman under the basket. Shot blocked by Mayhew. Second shot by Olsen. He's fouled as he goes up. 2.02 to go. Left-handed shot is up and good. Dylan Olsen, 6'3", junior, makes it 61-37. A little bit of a surprise here if you're just joining us. Gibbon with a 6-7 and seven record. Wood River with a 4-8 and eight record. You would think Gibbon at least would be an even-up match instead of down by 20-some-odd points here. 
Shot is good, and it's 61-38. Wood River comes down on offense. Soto under the basket, pumps, and a whistle blows. And we may have a foul here on either Olsen or Smith. Got a good year, good night. Shot is a little long, no good. Score remains 61-38. Seth Smith comes back into the ball game. Anderson sits down. Messersmith sits down. Into the ball game is Jake Wissing now for Wood River. Played off and on tonight. At the line, Soto sinks the second one, and it's 62 to 38. Given puts the ball in play, almost loses it, and they do lose it to Soto as he comes up and takes the ball away from Tyler Smith, but a whistle blows, and we may have Soto on a foul here. For the one plus, and the first shot is good. Dan Ross into the ball game for Wood River. Egger sits down. Danny Powell is about ready to come back in. Shot by Soto is good, and it's 64 to 38. Right beneath our broadcast vantage point here in the end line. Benji takes it across half court after taking the key in pass between the circles. Now he gets it over on the left side to Jose Marfolino, who's into the ball game now for the first time. Ball is batted away by Roth for Wood River. Goes out of bounds. He can't save it. Given retains. 92 seconds to go in regulation. We're clearing the benches now. Austin Godberson is into the ball game for. We've got a few numbers here that we don't have on our varsity roster again. We've been kind of not lucky tonight on some of these numbers here. Ball goes in play to Marfolino. Marfolino cross court. Top of the key. Now on the left side. Tries to find Andrew Yaki. And the first shot is off the lip. No good. Thompson for Wood River. Second shot is good, and it's 64-39. Wood River on offense. Down underneath the basket. Danny Powell. Around the perimeter. All right, they put the ball in play. Roth has it in the rear court. Pushes it over to Harders. Harders back to Roth. Roth stops. Now to Harders again. Pumps from three, and his shot is off the rim. No good. Melfolino clears it away for Gibbon. Travis Frew in for the Buffs. Clears it down court. Given has it top of the key, working it around left side. Bounce pass over to Marfolino again. He stops short of a shot. Will in play from the baseline. Rear court, it goes to Marfolino. Cross court. And the ball stolen away by Webster. Webster gets it back, tries to put it up off the rim, no good. For Given, but I don't have him in the roster, so. A three seconds to go. Second shot is good. And it's 64-40. 24-point lead for Wood River. They just snagged onto this ball game and would not let go. Rob has it. Pumps from 10. Shot is up off the glass. Good. 64-66 now to 40. Five seconds to go. Bounce pass. Shot up and good from the corner. A two-pointer by Andrew Yockey closes the ball game. And your score, final score, is Wood River 66 and Gibbon 42.